Blake Wilson with Archway Manufacturing. We're at the 2019 U.S. Custom Harvesters Convention in Amarillo, Texas. We're here to debut our new 7200 series forage fox line, starting off with our 7240. This is a 43 and a half foot trailer bumper to hitch. We have 72 inches from the floor to the top of our struck rails with outside extensions. And uh, we have 14 inch side extensions all the way around. At, uh, coming in at 13 feet flat from the ground to the top of the box. One of the biggest highlights of this box, you can see all across the outside, is the 16 gauge stainless steel sides. These stainless steel sides have a brushed finish, giving it a little not so bright appearance going down the road, but just as attractive, uh, as well as the archway green paint on a black chassis. Within moving into the rear end of the box, we have 55 mil shaft from dual gearbox over hydraulic drives with a 667XH pintle chain on welded rectangular tube slats. It, uh, this gives us a chain that is incredibly strong and is becoming the standard go-to chain on every one of our product lines. On the back of the box, one of the biggest things we have to feature is a bolt-on rear door section. This gives us the ability to have many different styles of attachment rear ends that can fulfill many different needs for our operators. All our rear end functions are hydraulically operated from the cylinders on each door to the latch that is on the outside as our double locking mechanism. As well on the rear doors, we have work lights on both sides of the box that are our standard work light for all our new equipment. On the back of the box is where we have quite a bit going on. We've got a standard hutch spring suspension for our axles. We have the options for multiple airlift axles underneath the chassis. We have options for dual or single wheels, as well as steel or Alcoa aluminum rims or a mix of both. On the side here, you can see this big spring. What this is, is we have four of them all the way around the box, two per side. And these are a torsion style tensioning system, which are active slack adjusters using the compression of the spring to keep the chain under constant tension while going around the sprockets. This helps keep the chain from jumping as it's unloading and always keeps it tight across the floor so you never have a balling, have balling issues, that you never have any slippage or jumping across your sprockets. On the back of the box here, we have controls for our unload. We also have a wireless controller that can run the box from the cab for every function from the airlift of the axle to the unloading of the box, which is all sequenced together so that it is one button, the latch opens, the doors open, and it starts unloading, as well as you can control your work lights from here. All those functions are duplicated with manual switches around the box. We have the unload switch for unload and close. That is on both sides of the box, as well as on the driver's side, we have our work light control. Back here we have the gear drive that is running our apron chain. This is a Burma RT430B gearbox that has a substantial... One of the biggest highlights of this box is the heavy duty frame we have under it. We have going crossways D-channel as well as C-channel running the full length of the 43 and a half foot box with a rectangular tube 3 8 wall spine running the center. On the front, we have a bulkhead style tensioning system to pull the majority of the slack out of the chain. This is the market standard for these boxes. Because we have our torsion adjusters underneath for slack adjustment, this is just to set your chain overall length and does not need daily tensioning because of the slack adjustment system we have underneath. Here we have the uh, hoses that will come with the box to hook up to your truck. We come with sets of male and female for the hoses as well as your tractor. These are a butterfly style screw connection and these will handle the 40 gallon a minute that we require to run this box at full operating capacity. On the front of the box here we have a 3 8 inch thick Lexan window. That is the largest window on the market as well as the widest. And from the very top you can see the outside of our 14 inch side extensions. All of the connections here are very simple on the front of the box. We have one electrical connection for your standard 8-pin. We pull our live power for our work lights, as well as all of our hydraulic features off this so that there is no need to have an additional electric connection to run your logic sequences. And then we have our standard hydraulic 1-inch one one lines running the full length to the back of the box for our supply, as well as our glad hands. On the front of the box, and on the rear of the box, one of the biggest highlights is that for the drive system of this box, we don't require any grease search currently. We're using an oil-impregnated nylon 
plastic bushing inside of every one of our sprockets and our rear shaft holder. What that is, is it's a plastic material that is very strong, but wears down over use over years. And with that wear comes the oil that is impregnated into that nylon, which lubricates the bushing so that there's no need to have grease sticks there. We're very proud of this box and the frame that is underneath it. This is arguably one of the strongest frames on the market for these style boxes and has the versatility to have multiple axles underneath it, as well as have them all removed down to run at weight that is very comparable to all of our competitors. So having such a strong box on such a light and efficient frame gives us the ability to have one of the largest volume and weight capacities on the market. Mm -hmm.